Hi there, I'm Jeanette Lane for Paper Craft Essentials, and in today's video, I'm sharing how to make this card using the gift included in your magazine. So this issue, issue 161, you've got a bubbles and fizz die set, embossing folder, and stamp set. That's crazy, that's really exciting. And so I'm gonna show you how to make this really easy happy birthday card. And what I love is that it's really easy and quick to make, but also I'm gonna be sharing just some basic, like an introduction to spotlight stamping. So let's get started. Now my card also uses just a touch of spotlight stamping. And if you're not familiar with spotlight stamping, it just is when you stamp an image and then layer the stamped image on top in a creative way that kind of makes like just zeros in your attention onto the stamp. So it acts like a spotlight. Now this isn't very advanced <laughs> stamp spotlighting, but I thought it was just a great way to do it because we have the coordinating die for the mug stamp, the mugs stamp, and I just felt like it was just a nice touch, just a nice little way to ease ourselves into more advanced spotlight stamping. Now to start off my card, I wanted to create my pattern background first. So I'm gonna grab these clinking mugs and I'm gonna mount them onto my stamp block and stamp them on a fun repeating pattern onto my cardstock using some Memento ink in tuxedo black. So now that my background is done, I want to stamp some bubbles on my, just randomly here and there throughout my background. And so I'm grabbing the bubble stamp, but what I did is I just took a pair of scissors and trimmed it down because I don't want to use all the bubbles. I just wanted to use just one little section of bubbles. And so I just trimmed that with some scissors and now I can stamp my bubbles throughout my background. So there is my completed background and I can set this aside. What I'm gonna do next is stamp and color these little mugs again, these little beer mugs. And so I'm going to be coloring them with some alcohol markers. I'm gonna be using little tipsy alcohol markers, which are really budget friendly and a great way to get into alcohol marker coloring. And I'm gonna be using Memento ink again because that's a great ink to use when you're using alcohol markers because you don't want it to smudge. So you need an ink that's gonna work well with your alcohol markers. And the best ink seriously is the Memento in Tuxedo Black. So I've actually colored and cut some of these little mugs beforehand just to make this video a little bit shorter. Okay, so now we can move on to matting our beer mugs. And what I'm gonna do is grab the die, the coordinating die, and a piece of black cardstock. And I'm gonna fold this in half because I wanna die cut three, three mugs. And when I fold my paper in half, it'll just cut the process, make it a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna get the right platform on my Sizzix fold away, and I'm gonna run my die through my machine with my black cardstock. Now I'm gonna mount my stamps onto my die cuts, and for my glue, I'm using this Cosmic Acrylic Glue, which I absolutely love, and I'm just going to make sure that's secure and do this three times. When 
I mount, when I mount my spotlight stamps onto my pattern background, I really want them to pop. And so what I'm going to do is just add some dimensional foam tape on the back and it's really going to lift and make sure those stamps pop off the page. It's just another step that you can add to really make your stamping pop out. Now for this last one, I wanted it to be off the page. So what I did is just mount it to the front and now I'm just gonna flip this over and trim off the excess. Now that I have this excess piece, I can add it to the opposite side to this one, or you could do it here as well, just for some added interest. And again, we're flipping that over and cutting off the excess. Now for our sentiment, I want to stamp happy birthday on a piece of blue cardstock. And I'm going to be using the happy birthday stamp in the Bubbles and Fizz stamp set. And I'm going to do this in silver. So I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing. So I'm going to grab my sentiment and stamp that. Sorry, not stamp it. Mount it onto my acrylic block. And I'm going to grab my Nouveau Clear Mark embossing pad. And I'm going to ink that up. This is definitely optional. Uh, I just like to add just a little bit of sparkle, <laughs> a hint of, but I guess it's not really sparkle. It's more metallic, like a silver metallic finish to my card. And then I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper and my silver embossing powder. And this is Cosmic Shimmer. And I'm going to sprinkle that onto my sentiment. Shake off the excess. Set that aside and save this powder for another project. Now I'm going to grab my heat tool and melt this embossing powder onto my cardstock. And what's going to happen is we're going to get a nice metallic finish that's a little bit raised. So it just adds a little bit of nice texture to our card. Here's my silvery happy birthday sentiment. And I'm just going to mount that onto my card with some more acrylic glue. And now I can mount this to my card base. And for my card base, I'm just using a piece of craft colored cardstock. And I did a little side fold card. And I'm going to glue this onto my card front, make sure that I have a nice mat. So it creates a nice border all the way, all the way around my card. So I'm really happy with the sizing on that. I don't have to trim down my card base or my card front at all. So I'm just going to add some more glue and then mount that to my card front. And for texture, just for a little added touch of texture, I'm going to be using some Baker's twine to tie a little bow on the side. I like to add texture with Baker's twine. It's just really easy to do. And there's my completed card. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you were inspired to try a little bit of beginner's spotlight stamping and also to use your Bubbles and Fizz gift set that comes with the magazine. It's so versatile. There's so much that you can do with it and it's really fun to craft with. I'm Jeanette Lane for Papercraft Essentials. And if you would like to grab your own copy of Papercraft Essentials 161, you can get that at craftstash.co.uk, moremags.com, major supermarkets, and also local craft retailers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.